Uh, it's absolutely brilliant to be asked by Digital Tuesday to come and speak uh, today. I, I find that I'm speaking all over the world about creativity and innovation, but I rarely get the chance to speak in Wales, so this is quite exciting for me. So uh, it's a pleasure to be asked. Um, in, in terms of innovation, it's so important to businesses today, but people just don't understand it. They don't spend enough time on it. They might spend time on sales training, negotiation training, leadership skills, but ultimately everything stems from an idea and how you develop that idea, how you pick the right idea, and then how you deliver it. I mean, we're in, we're in a really fast-paced society at the moment. And it used to be that if you keep doing what you've always done, you'd always get what you always got. But today, it's totally different. If you keep doing what you've always done, you get left way behind. It's clear that innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. And um, obviously the audience that's here today at Digital Tuesday, they're a very entrepreneurial group. Um, they want to know how they can take a, a concept, um, then have the confidence to, to, to build on that concept, to, to take it to being a meaningful business. And you know that could be everything from the idea, to making the idea happen, to protect, protecting the idea. So what I'm hoping to do today is just share some of the experiences that I've had um, over the last two decades, uh, the good and the bad, um, that's allowed me to do some things well and some things bad. But obviously you learn more from your failures than you do from, from the successes. Tonight what I'm going to do is share um, some, of my, some of my biggest failures and I think I've learned a lot from those in terms of what that means to, to being an entrepreneur or being, uh, being creative. Uh, I'm also going to share some of my successes where I've been able to develop products with absolutely um, zero capital. Um, you know, how do you do that? How do you start from nothing but an idea but actually make it happen? And um, you know, I found one or two ways that that works. Um, so I'm going to share that with everyone tonight. And also what I'm hoping to do is give them some takeaways so that uh, when they leave tonight, they'll go away thinking, gosh, if I just do this and this, it can make a massive difference to my ability to be creative and, and, and innovative. Mm -hmm.